In the Western society, there are a lot of markers of adulthood, like getting a job, moving out of the parental home, getting married, and having children. And people tend to get anxious when they fail to check one of those boxes while they are reaching a certain age. In my opinion, it's kind of dumb. Life is a non-linear game. Why do people always treat it like a linear one? That being said, I'm a hypocrite because I have checked the first two boxes in my early twenties. Anyway, as soon as you check the second box, aka moving out of the parental home, you are bound to ask yourself, how often should I call my parents? Let's find out which people also ask. Hi, I'm Zhao Chen Lo. Welcome to People Also Ask, where I search something simply obvious and share with you some of its part, aka People Also Ask, which is a feature telling you what other people are searching on Google that relate to your query. Today's query is how often should you call your parent? We will talk about some statistics about how often American young adults call in their parents, how much parent calling is too much, and some advice on what to talk to your parents about. So let's start with our first part. How often should adults call their parents? Google's auto-generated answer is linked to an article titled Good Question, How Often Do We Talk to Our Parents? published by CBS Minnesota, which is an affiliate of CBS Network focusing its original news coverage on local issues. According to this article, CBS News found 24% of adult children thought they should call their mother at least once a day. Another 24% thought they should call a few times a week, while 35% answer once a week, and 12% ding once a month or less is appropriate. And 33% of mothers with children under the age of 18 thought adults should call their mother at least once a day. But there are also generational differences because only 14% of baby boomers reported calling their parents once a day. This article also mentioned another very interesting article published on AARP aka American Associate of Retired People. This article argues that most cultures have maintained closeness between parents and children. So the baby boomers in America is actually an odd generation that overemphasize independence. Very interesting article. I will put the link in the description. So chances are that you are watching this video because you are worrying that you are not calling your parents enough, so you are being a bad child and something like that. But some of you might actually be worrying about the opposite, like do I call my parents too much? So let's talk about our next part. Is it normal to call your parents every day? Google's auto-generated answer is linked to an article titled 11 Signs You Should Talk to Your Parent Less, published by Bustle.com, which is an online magazine found in 2013 targeting young millennial women. So what are those 11 signs? I encourage you to read the whole article yourself to find out. Basically if 1. Either party is too dependent, like you are asking your mom what to get for dinner every day. 2. Either party is too controlling, like you don't think your dad can take care of himself, so you call him 3 times a day to make sure he's still alive. 3. Your relationship with your parents involves a lot of money borrowing. No need to explain this one. 4. Conversations always turn into an argument. In this case, you probably want to analyze if there is any issues in your relationship with your parents and adjust accordingly. So in the scenario listed above, you should probably call your parent less, and in some case, consider setting some boundaries. While some people should consider speaking with their parent less, others may not speak with their parents quite enough, so have no idea what to say when they do. So let's talk about our next part. What do I talk to my mother about? Google's auto-generated answer is linked to an article titled 38 Interesting Questions to Ask Your Mom Right Now, published by Huffington Post. While this article specifically provides some fun questions you can ask your mom, most of those questions you can apply to your dad too. Again, highly encourage you to read the whole article, which I will put a link below, but some of those fun questions are how many serious relationships were you in before you settled down? What were they like? When did you lost your virginity and to whom? Is there any moment or event that radically changed the way you saw the world? Have you ever done something really impulsive? How did it go? What do you want your funeral to be like? What was life like for you at my age? Again, highly encourage you to read this article. Just do it right now. Today we learned how frequently Americans believe they should call their parents based on surveys, when you should probably call your parent less, 
In some Christians, you can ask your parents as a conversation starters. If you made it to the end of the video, chances are that you enjoy learning what people also ask on Google. But let's face it, reading PAA yourself will be a pain, so here's the deal. I will do the reading for you and upload a video compiling some fun PAA once a week. All you have to do is to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss any PAA report that I compile. So just do it right now. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,